OK, let's make a spinnaker pole. I have to start by saying that we can't guarantee these methods and you follow these instructions at your own risk. First off, you have to get yourself a mandrel. I used an old windsurfer mast. The mast wasn't in very good condition so I fared it and sprayed it with some car paint. Then I covered the mandrel in parcel tape along its length. I then made a template for cutting out the carbon. I did this by wrapping polythene sheet around the mandrel and trimming to size. I cut another one of these templates which would be wrapped around the mandrel and covered in parcel tape to make a sleeve. This is what you would lay up your carbon cloth onto. Cut out your carbon cloth using your template. I used five layers of 300 gram unidirectional carbon and two layers of carbon braid or sock. Make a pusher plate. I made mine out of some thick plywood. Cut a hole in it the diameter of your mandrel at your maximum pole length. Spray the mandrel with silicon spray. Slide the mandrel sleeve over the mandrel. Position the pusher plate over and firmly position the mandrel between two workmates. Your first layer of laminate is your carbon braid. Put this on with enough excess to roll up onto the pusher plate. Tie it off and pull towards the mandrel tip until tight. Wet out the cloth with your chosen epoxy. Wetting out carbon braid is quite easy to do with your hands wearing gloves. Then lay up your five layers of unidirectional cloth, alternating the join of the next layer of cloth so the join is fully covered by the next layer. Then firmly wrap the laminated mandrel with one inch wide peel ply. Take care not to wrinkle the laminate but make sure there's enough pressure to get good consolidation between the layers of carbon. Don't wrap the peel ply too wide otherwise you will make wrinkles. Tie off the peel ply and wait for your epoxy to set. You can see here the sort of wind you'll need to do with the peel ply. When the epoxy has gone off unwind the peel ply, lightly sand back the laminate and then apply your last layer of carbon braid using the same method as before. Then wrap the job in peel ply. You can aid the curing process by making a tent and using a fan heater as I've done here. Then after the job is cured, remove from the mandrel by using the pusher plate. Put a bullseye in the end, sand the job down lightly and coat with UV stable varnish. You should then have a really nice looking carbon spinnaker pole that should weigh around the kilo mark. Mine came in at 810 grams. Good luck and I hope you enjoy making your spinnaker pole. For more detailed information on building, go to the UK Cherub website.